What's up, my hacking friends? Today, I want to do 10 hacks that's going to help you in your fishing adventures. These hacks are so short, I had to combine them all together. So, let's move on to hacking one. Now, this hack is for some people that buy the old Abu Garcia's. They tend to not want to set too tight in the real seats. So, if you have this problem, just take your little tape and put on the back end of it, and it'll tighten it up for you. Hack number two. Now, if you're out skipjack fishing, everybody's running into this problem. When you use three or more lures, lures on a line they tend to get tangled up now the easiest way to take care of this problem is use bigger leader line because it won't it's not as flimsy and it won't tangle as bad usually about 50 on up it'll keep it straight when you throw it you don't have to worry about your lure getting all tangled up and stuff hack number three now, most of these dark rods are out. You can't really see the tip at night. Whether you're waiting for a bite, waiting for a run, sometimes flatheads hit light. My solution is cheap tape. Just take it, tape it around rod where you can sit a little bit better, and then you'll be good to go. Hack number four. You know, when I first started fishing, I was fishing with a whooping stick, and the bottom of my core candle was getting all messed up from sitting in rocks, getting tore up. You can buy these leg stops at Walmart, and they got two sizes. If you want something bigger, you got to order it off an of eBay, but. They just fit on the bottom of the rod and when that rod stop gets messed up you just take it off and replace it by the dollar 29 hack number six if your rod don't have a Hook storage, what I mean by hook storage, it's like a little staple in the rod right here where you could tie your hook. Just take your zip tie and a paper clip and it will hold your hook just as good. Hack number seven. I see a lot of people using rubber stops for their sinkers. Now, this is very cheap. If you have somebody that's on oxygen or you're going to replace the lines for your bubble box or you are just going to put new lines on your aerator on your boat, save the old oxygen hose and just cut you a piece to protect your knot on your, when the uh, sinker slides up and down. Very cheap, very effective. Hack number eight. Now I use a worm binder to keep my hooks in because it keeps them dry and everything and I can get one out at a time without all my hooks get wet. Now I want to replace the cheap binders that Bass Pro Shop put in these worm binders and end up just going to the dollar store. Getting three of these for a dollar. They're very tough, weather resistant, and they fit right in the worm binder. Hack number eight. Speaking about hooks, if your hooks does get wet or draw moisture in your box or in your worm binder, 
most of us buy medicine the older we're getting. These silicone packets, they keep moisture out of pill, pill bottles. Just throw them in with your hooks or in with your binder folder and they keep your hooks dry, draw moisture out of them, keep them from rusting. Hack number nine. I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook about needing a better scale. You can go over to the luggage department, buy one of these scales. Uh, we've been traveling to Hawaii and everything. They're pretty accurate. Close to the nearest ounce. But $8, you replace them really easy. Almost at the end, but hack number 10. Since we're talking about storage, whether you keep your hoods in a worm binder or a box, they usually get jumbled up. Just take your paper clip, and then you can take off what you want, put back on. It keeps them from getting hooked in the eyes, or maybe you're getting stuck a couple of times trying to get a hook out. But, a lot less hassle, very cheap. Well, that was 10 hacks from Hack to Fish. They were so short, I couldn't do them in one at a time, so I put them all in one video. Now, I got a buddy from uh, here in Tennessee, he's just starting a fishing YouTube channel. Check out Lee Wayne. He's a little, little bit funny. Catch his fish. Hopefully you can learn a few things from him. But. These 10 hacks I hope helped you. In your fishing adventures. And I hope. To come up with some more hacks. That can help you later on. Till again. This is Hack to Fish. And I'm out.